forward and very quick, decisive play from NT. MSS already back to that bottom lane, continuing to defend his tower. Ramsey has picked up the phase boots and Morbid Mass. The blink deck will be eventually. Once back, they are going to be able to catch MSS. He might be able to pop the charge comes through, manages to stop some of that damage, but it looks like the right click and the Thunder Strike is going to be enough. And now Rose is in some serious trouble. He's not going to be able to make it out of here alive. It seems he's in tier 2 tower. Ramsey actually backing up that kill for a second, but they still manage to claim it. Solo will brave the tower's damage in order to claim that extra kill. 2 to 1 now, and Solo is going to actually make it a 2 to 2. Unfortunately, still dies in the tier 2, but probably still worth it in the end. 4 VP, arrow comes out. Yo, Ramsey's almost running back into that one. Rose, he beats in and immediately goes for the charge, does get glimpsed back. He'll go ahead and take a timeout in the fountain. 3 to 3 right now, 11 minutes in. Goldgrath looking to be the favor of VP, about 2,500 and a 2,000 experience lead, but. NP do seem to have better map control. Let's see if they can translate that into another team fight. They're going to be able to catch Luna here. Luna, Moonlight Shadow, they will flip it back into this uh, control of Maja. They managed to get the disruptor on top of the AMI as well. So that will be heavy commitment from VP, but well worth it to take out the carry of NP. They do still have some of those big team fight ultimates, and it Dyer's seems middle they're going to try and avoid attack. them with a two man smoke wrap around here. Or maybe they're not going to wrap on mid and just try and push into the enemy jungle. Stand around the side of the big hole bit. Perfect timing there from MSS with that pro strike. I'm a big mistake. It's his hero that is going to have to be able to split push the map uh, and kind of be the end Five man around the front of 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 the front in that couple of Radiant seconds, and they respond and they get themselves in the position to strike. But they cut their losses, they recognize it wasn't a good thing for them, and they're going to lose an ogre and tower. And, oh, I love this play. This is beautiful, man. What's going on? The rest of the heroes have spoken up and worked in your bottom. It's a beautiful setup from MSS right at the TV. Completes from Pasha. They're going to be able to get the extra kill before, but they're stuck inside the pit of Malice. The Alpha Slur is actually getting quite here. The third round comes out with AUI. The Grey will pop by here, so it's going to be able to take a lot of that. But it's still AUI comes to the floor. He's going to be able to output enough physical damage to take out these supports. At least one of them looks like the disruptor has to win. Trees will manage to survive. The mouth is late. There's so much to handle, but they will manage to finally bring him down. The Ogre is dead. And Ramsey's in Lil. We're going to fight this one out with Masha. Seeing as they can actually kind of AUI. Masha will go down first, but AUI will end up going to, down to Ramsey's. Lil manages to stay alive through all of that. He's looking for the extra crap. He's going to be able to TP into the shrine, catch them with the glimpse, and that is going to be a full white here in the next game. He will die to win. Oh my gosh, they respond so well to that aggression on the sniper. Underlord somehow survived with 15 HP. Aggressive jump from NP. Speeding things up with this tier 1 tower being traded up at the tier 1 at top is being commanded by NP. They're actually going to start TP here. It seems they can actually take this fight off the glitch baiting in a live bit. They're going to be able to catch up but Rose walks back to the Iron Man. That's going to be able to catch these heroes long enough for the stats to And the net of field combination, you'll catch these heroes. A fight only survives off with infants for now. Back in some way. And the stats with the counter and exchange. You go to the east. Tries to pick up no one. But this hero is surviving just a little bit more. MSFT finally does manage to get that kill. But now he's trapped inside the tree. So he's duped his way to victory here. Has the throw a strike. Doesn't get hit by the pit of Malice. Goes a little bit deeper. Gets the blink. TP's out. Ramsey's is there. Finds the stats. But it's not nothing left. They caught him at the end. Lil will bring MSS back to his doom. And Lil looks like he maybe dies to these illusions. Actually, because of that burrow strike, it brings it close. But Lil barely managed to survive once again. Play uh, the farming game in the bottom half. A lot of TP's down bottom here. Looks like NPR thinking about this sniper. Oh, they're going to go for the Underlord play, actually. They're going to try and contest. They're going to be able to get this glimpse next to that one. BKB. Preemptively utilized, and that's a big win as long as VP don't get caught in that key situation. He has made a pause, the charge goes down. He's going to be able to get a goal on it too. HY surges forward with that ultimate, but the Glimmer King's going to be able to take Phil. He's not going to be able to take Pop, it looks like the damage seems overwhelming as MSS comes in with the epicenter. Tries to find Lil, but they've already got him dead. No other heroes going to be caught on the side of VP. A dark rift that 
thought Shadow. was going to actually turn out pretty good with that glimpse, but the BKB and a nice jump in by NP turns things around pretty starkly. Now no one's in some trouble. He's going to be charged up by Rose. The invid still working his dividends here. Rose is going to be able to bump back the Ogre. They're actually going to try and kill that support first, but Rose is going to have a hard time backing himself away. Grant will pop the BKB and then he will begin to tight game. But unfortunately, our Warlock not able to tight at all. The Diffuser Blade slows him down to a draw. Grant will go to the next kill. Actually, Trench is trying to back out. He's going to be done. And now that thing is going to do its work. Popsy in range survives a little bit longer underneath this tier 2 tower. They need a bit more. They've got him too. SNZ dies for it, but he managed to ensure both the cores of VP go down and NP in a great position Radiance now to pressure a tower. tower. Might rotate mid as well, but the other four smoked up, pushed forward inside their own jungle. And they're going to be able to catch someone, but Rams already wins himself back. And then they get the but it's a little bit too far. All these BP heroes, he wipes this damn it. I'm going in. You guys need to follow me in. But he realizes this is too much to handle. A couple of BKBs pop by BP, and now they're the ones who are going to try and turn things around. Nice one back. And we have our own four. And he lost. He really do much. He's gonna be good for now. No one's damage is stalled up. And it says his burrow strike with the people is doing so much work. All these heroes, they're stuck inside them, but they can't go anywhere. No one's just tearing them apart from a distance. Rose bumps the back into the tent of retreat, but he's not gonna be able to get out of here. That's the he gets HNP. They still try and finish this one up. Eternal Levy will manage to get no one, it looks like, but he's dropped quite low. Underlord and Solo. They're trying to battle it out with MSS right now. MSS with the golem feeling good. Gets the two man burrow strike. Solo's quite low, but it looks like Eternal Levy's not willing to make that commitment just yet. He comes forward. And Star Storm not going to be able to hit Solo here. Underlord threatening them with a head of knowledge. He's going to be able to catch Done. And the Bro Strike misses. MSS in some serious trouble. Has already lost the damage dealer. Can he actually make it out of here? You'll set their force that board. Sandstorm trying to get out. Bro Strike is up for a second. It looks like he will escape, but NP have dropped four. Thanks in part to VP. No one just outputting so much damage on that sniper. Yay. Make them use a spell or a BKB they don't want to. But well played by no one. He will still pull that BKB for the rage and rage ball most likely. Bruiser comes forward, so ready to do it. Well, it's a big old big old issue. The turtle ending comes forward with the BKB. He's starting to hit lockdown. Rock is getting the leap away. No one can't quite finish him up in the shrine. Starts doing his work. He's walking inside of his one. The spear picks up a little bit with a wide spear. But that's the best for counter initiation. But the epic center is going to be able to do enough to get the burrow strike. He's going to be more angry. He's going to be brought a couple low. No one's going to come back in, but he's surrounded by enemies. On all sides, he focuses on SVG first. Pops the BKB, bouncing himself away from AY, goes to the TP out, and that is a clean escape by him. No bats gonna come up. Ramsey is gonna be left behind though. He'll be the one kiting down to his dead. And he will hold outside of their base. They lost the tier three, they lost the ranged racks, but they will hold for now. And uh, NP are actually now taking the radiant high ground. <laughs> Can NP get themselves an Aegis is probably the big question here. Smoke and run to NP is above. Rose with his team next to the chest. He can be activated by the race. He's locked him down and is able to get that back. Most of the hero on play. And now NP on top of an arrow. NP, they've lost their Spirit Breaker, but they're not able to make the commitment on a solo. He's obviously just not the hero they can go on. These two big giants, Underlord and Ogre, they just serve as these tanky, these tanky heroes that, oh my god, they got, they thought, they thought they were actually going to come forward, BP, they didn't actually go forward, they went back to the Roshan pit, that's going to be an epicenter completely wasted, and now NP, I have no idea how they actually contested, but they're going to try, they dropped the golem, and a beautiful Bro Strike on the floor, it's just Mista, Barada, he's already been brought down, no one, he's now targeting MSS, MSS trying to make his way away with the old Scepter, here comes Luna, Posh is trying to go for the Dark Rift, out, Solo is trying to battle up against him as well, hey, why is he right around this guy, he's just not good for him, Rance is on top of it as well, he tries to pop this, he's dead, but it's not enough, Rance he survives, he doesn't win that, one versus four, and now it's going to be the extra heroes, NP down for two minutes on the Luna. It seems like Pasha is able to skin him out pretty easily. That's gonna be all over for NP. There goes the arrow onto no one. He takes it. He runs up now. Now he's just a two-man strike. He's gonna be able to get a jump forward. And he targets the Luna. All three here down. Won't stop. He's up for Ramsey. Still gets that final swing. The goal is what made a monster. 
good position. They just don't even have enough damage. They can still look very tanky. They finally get that ultimate down, but they're lacking the Luna ultimate, and that is what the game plan was. And he just run out of steam here. Their two heroes are down for two minutes, and that means they will call it GG. Curtis Crow will take this game one. Oh, I mean, that's a fantastic way to predict there. It's such an evenly contested.